The Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay. Who killed the princes in the tower? Do you know, from the police point of view, there is no case against Richard at all. And I mean that literally. It isn't just that the case isn't good enough, good enough to bring into court, I mean. There quite literally isn't any case against him at all. I loved history. It was my favorite subject. Did all children do that, he wondered. Write their names in their school books and spend their time in class making transfers. He certainly had. And the sight of those squares of bright primitive color brought back his childhood as nothing had for many years. He had forgotten the excitement of transfers, that wonderfully satisfying moment when you begin the peeling off and see that it's coming perfectly. Let me get this straight. Nothing was heard of Tyrrell's confession until Tyrrell was dead. No. Tyrrell confesses that way back in 1483, nearly 20 years ago, he pelted up to London from Warwick, got the keys of the tower from the constable, I forget his name, Brackenbury, Sir Robert Brackenbury. That's it, Brackenbury. Got the keys of the tower from Sir Robert Brackenbury for one night, murdered the boys, handed back the keys, and reported back to Richard. He confesses this and so puts an end to what must have been a much canvassed mystery, and yet nothing public is done with him. Not a thing. Well, I'd hate to go into court with a story like that. I wouldn't even consider it myself. It's as phony a tale as ever I heard. The Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay, named as the greatest crime novel ever written by the British Crime Writers Association, only from Aerial Audiobooks.